So today we talk a little bit about wild camping. What means nothing else than camp everywhere where you want and where it's pretty and nice without that you have to pay anything for it. Hey you all, it's me Lily Lou. Welcome back to my channel. Everything is about a little bit a different life, something what you don't probably see every day, but what is my every day? Because the normal world out there scares me and that's why I'm just creating my own little bubble, my own little world. And that's what all of this is about. There is no certain line or this or that. Today we speak about wild camping. We spend a lot of time in our little camper Mimi. And we just camp wherever we want to. We not like going on camping places. We not pay for sleep somewhere. Because usually people pay for it and then they get this like three on three meters square next to other campers. And it's not very nice. You not have a nice view. You have no quiet. You have nothing. So that's why we out today in the woods. And we find this little nice place. This looks like a really big camp, but actually it isn't. It's just me and my daughter. But today we decided we feel like sleeping in a tent instead of the comfy camper. So that's why we built up the tent. Nothing else about that. Nothing quite believes my mind like knowing I am getting closer. to hold on to for the most I don't moan but this all just hits me like a rock can't wait to get home so today it's about the most senseless camping we probably ever done but it's also not we find this very nice spot for our camper in the green just here is a fireplace we will make a nice fire it's just me and my daughter we off for a couple of days and we decided we don't want to sleep in the car tonight and in a real bed we want to make a very crazy wild camping trip next to our camper <laughs> so yeah we just get a tent up now and make a fire and i still can use the kitchen and make some real proper cooking and we have some music and some stuff. Next level camping. So we got this all fancy tent. You just have to blow it up. It not weight much. It's pretty nice. We sometimes when we with the camper on tour, we like to go in the forest. And for this, we have just a tent and some stuff on top of the camper in a little box. So we anytime ready and we still like kind of little comfort. So we get like a lightweight air mattress because you have to carry that in your backpack.
ready and set. She complained that we have to clean up the tent now. Very professional. So here we can make a fire. And we just have a relaxed night. Just a little trip. And the most beautiful thing about wild camping is you always find nice places like this. See, we are here all alone. We have benches, we have a fireplace, we have more benches. We can park wherever we want. We put a tent to it and it's all fine, it's all ready. And I make this for many, many years and we never got any problems. In the worst case, someone comes and send you off. Sure, with the tent, it's a little bit more tricky. You just have to rebuild it and everything. But normally with just a car, you can just park everywhere and you just, in the worst case, you sit in, you put a key in and you just drive off to the next place. But usually when you go a little bit far away, when you go, when you go a little bit out of cities, out of the normal certain places where humans are, there's no one to even complain. And of three, four people who walk through the forest here, they usually give a crap anyway. So yeah, so we will be having a nice night here. Yeah, actually it's not fully illegal to camp wild or I don't know the exact rules for this. I know some countries are way more strict than other countries and usually we in the camper and when we in a country or in a place where we see there could be some people then it's a little bit too sketchy. We're just trying to not build a big camp in front of the car. We would not build up a tent in front of the car right now, right here. But we in Germany, in Germany, the laws are very easy. In the worst case, they send you off. But we here in the forest, somewhere in the middle of the forest, we find this, this uh, public barbecue place. So there are some parking spots up there. So it's not fully all right to drive down here in the grass, but probably in the worst case, someone comes to see us and they go straight ahead. So in the past we had a lot of very nice places to sleep and we go just somewhere away from the streets look where there's a lot of green and we just drive in the green and we stop here we drive in and look what we have for neighbors tonight to sleep and they are very big and they are around like 30 so we decided to sleep here so we can look out of the windows and we see the ostriches. So in my life I was spent a lot of time in the camper, especially in the summer we drive through Europe. We a lot of time in it. We kind of live in it in the summertime, in the spring, to the aunt. And I would say probably in like seven years or seven, eight and and probably in seven or eight years I was maybe one or two times pay for camping. That's it. 
and I remember back even when and it was because we were somewhere Maya was very young and it was raining for almost two weeks and we didn't have electric or anything anymore and my old camper didn't have solar on the roof we run out of water run out of electric and we was just the three of us in a small camper for like almost two weeks with rain so then we was going on a camping place to recharge everything but these days I'm a lot more clever with being a wild camper. I have a lot of solar on my roof. I don't need electric from anywhere else. Um, water, you have always some places. You stop at a gas station, you can get some water. We have some tools to just fill in water anytime. McDonald's, welcome McDonald's. We get water there, we get Wi-Fi there, we get toilets there, but there are no food. But yeah, there's a lot of spots where you always can just stop quick to get the stuff you need in your camper. And the most important thing is when you're somewhere off in the wild, you just have to be... Don't wasteful with your water, don't be wasteful with your electric, with everything like this. I mean, when you have enough solar, you can be wasteful with your electric because it comes for free anyway. Also, we like a lot to camp somewhere close to little rivers or lakes or something where there's some water so it makes it more easy and convenient to clean up the dishes, to take a shower, to bathe, to... Yeah, if just some water around is nice and cozy, why not? Oh, she moved in already, get ready in the tent. So yeah, with a camper it's much more easy to wild camp because you actually don't see from the outside that you camp wild. We also got the windows blacked out so you actually don't can see inside but we can see outside. And when it's evening and we sleep in we kind of black out completely so people don't even see the light. Because then it just looks like an empty car standing somewhere and people give a crap anyway. But as long as you're in nature and the more far away you from, from civilization, from humans, the more safe you are because then there is no one to complain. So but that's why we want to go off-road the next years. In the moment you can go off-road, you just drive a couple of hundred meters away from every road, just somewhere in the forest, somewhere behind, whatever. And you are really safe because there no one can come. Or like you're somewhere on the beach, we find a lot of nice spots on the beach. And now imagine you just drive in the beach and you drive a couple of hundred meters on the wild beach just away from every parking spot. Like the parking spot where still some campers hide. You just drive on the beach and you drive the beach along till you just far enough from everyone. Yeah, that's the future. That's the future of our wild camp paradise going off-road, putting that box on some more off-road vehicle somewhere in the future, hopefully near future, but I think it will take a couple of years for us to realize that project. I'm still working a lot on the inside of this. I changed just all the electric. I changed a lot of stuff and prepared a box for going off-road. One of the next steps I want to do is building like a, a little water tank on the roof, a black one, so the water can heat up in the day and you have kind of solar warmed up shower. You can use outside and inside then. I will make a system to reach them from the outside but also from the inside. Something very simple and easy. Yes. I will do that myself because I didn't find that anywhere, so I guess you have to build that yourself.
So yeah, that was it already from today. Just wanted to take a few words. I will just enjoy the rest of the day now. We will start making a fire and just chill a little bit, play. We have some knives. We will make some, some knives. We have some swords. Some very heavy swords. So we will have some medieval fights going on here on the grass. Let the games begin. Okay, bye bye. And when you like this silly stuff and you want to see some more camper episodes, van life stuff, whatever, consider subscribe, hit the button, click on the bell notification so you will get informed from YouTube directly when I load something up. And see you next time. Oh, tot. Oh, oh.